welcome to Core and More. We're going to be working, um, of course, our core. And then today we're going to do a little bit of chest and back and glutes again. That was really popular last time, so I'm going to include glutes as well today. We're going to start out um, just warming up our core with some plank work. And we'll go from that right into chest, and then we'll move on. So planks, you're going to take it down to the mat or to the carpet if you're just using your carpet. I'm going to go all the way up to a full plank today. So I'd like you to join me if you can. So you're on your toes and then nice long arms. Sometimes we plank from our elbows or and our knees. So today I want you up nice and tall. Your core is in real tight here and you're just holding your plank. So now what I want you to do, you've got your plank down. Go ahead and open those legs up a couple of inches here. Step them out a little bit wider. You can even take your arms up a little bit wider. And we're gonna do a crossover, which is knee to elbow. You have eight of them. Here we go. Cross. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, hold your place. I'm listening to the beat of the music here. You got two eight counts holding. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open back up. Cross over, eight of them. Here you go, you have four, three, two, one. Good, back to plank. Holding tight. Go ahead guys, you know this, open back up. Last time, cross it over. Four, three, two, one. Good job, bring it in. Go ahead and drop down, elbows on your shoulders. Now if you need to go to your knees, you can. This time on your plank, Instead of bringing your knees in, you're going to take your hips. You're going to go side, side tap, hip tap, hip tap. You've got this. Come on. Down up. Down up. Tap. Tap. Eight. Seven. Nice long leg, pointed toe, up, down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, bring it back in. You're gonna switch over. Go back to that long leg, pointed toe. Start at the top. You're gonna make a V shape. So you're gonna go cross, up, out, up. So you're adding that diagonal motion 
and it's real easy to kind of swing and rock your back on here. Try not to do that. Give me four. Three. Two. One more. Cross. Good. Bring it in and switch. Same thing, guys. Long leg, lift it up. And you're going to cross, up, out, up. That's one. Two. Three. Four. One more time, switch back now to that bent knee flexed foot, heel to the ceiling, I want you to start at the top, you're going to pulse it. So you started with this motion, but it was full range, you're going to finish with this motion, that little pulses. Let's go, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, switch, bring it in. Same thing guys, everything core tight, lined up. And squeeze, heels to the ceiling, tight, tight, tight. Here it is, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Nice job, all right, so go ahead. You need to push those hips and glutes back. Push up time, okay, so. You guys can do push-ups off your knees, you can do push-ups off the wall, or you can go full push-up. That's really up to you. I'm going nice and wide arms today. From my toes to start out. Here it is. Down.
Back to it, tempo. Four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Okay, flip it over. We take it into the crunch time. You're on your back. Okay. I want to go ahead and just relax for a second here. Take those hands back behind your ears. Your elbows stay out pretty wide. Chest up, chin up. Lift. Lift. I want you to exhale at the top. Crunch and release. Eight more, just tempo. Here we go, pulses at the top. Tiny, little motion, guys, keep going. Lift, lift, lift. Eight, seven, six. Static hold, eight, seven. Everything pulled in tight. Bring those knees up. Tempo crunch, eight. Ready? Pulses. Static hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four. You're going to stay holding. Reach those arms out. Pulse. If that's too much on your neck, you can just do one arm at a time. Keep going. Reach it. Eight, seven, four, three, Two, one, good, up and hold, hands back. Now, just tap your toes, tap, tap. You're still lifting up. You're in that static hold for the top. And you're alternating those legs, tapping. If you want more, both feet. It's just a tap and a lift. Good. Try not to let your lower back arch or come off the mat. Keep it flat. Four, three, two, hold. Lift that chest up a little higher, guys. Right here, bicycles. Side to side, side to side. Keep going. Shoulders up and across. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two feet flat, basic crunch. Four more. One more. Awesome, relax. Okay, last little push here for your glutes. You're going to do that hip thrust or the bridge. So you're going to take your hips, pop them up. Pop, release. Pop, release. Squeeze. Core should be in tight, especially lower abs. And then you are squeezing glutes and hamstrings. Tight. Tight. Notice my feet are flat to the floor here. Four more up. Four, three, two, you're gonna take it and hold it. Stay at the top. We're changing our footing. Bring your feet together. And I actually touch my toes and my heels. Now here we go. Drop and pop. Drop and pop. Drop and pop. This is it. Eight, seven, six. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Release it. Nice long bodies here. Arms up, legs out. Full body stretch. Deep breath up. Good. Exhale. One more time. Deep breath and stretch. 
Release, bring one knee into the chest. Rock and roll up. And then go ahead and you guys are done with your core and more. Um, if you need more time to cool down or stretch it out, grab one of my stretching and flexibility videos. Thanks for joining me, you guys.